Former Chief of Defense Staff Brigadier General Carlo Alfonso does not miss the Independence Day Parade or the after party. He says that since the first parade in 1963, he has taken part in it as a member of the Defense Force and now his second as the third generations are also taking part. See News caught up with the former National Security Minister on Tragreek Road yesterday as Newtown Playboys and Silver Stars came together to celebrate the nation's 55th year of independence. It has become part of the independence celebrations, a musical rendition with none other than the national instrument. Torn by Newton Playboys, the event saw a few steel orchestras serenading the pan lovers on Tragerit Road. Sinclair Thompson, organizer of the event, spoke to see news. Year by year, this is getting bigger and bigger. So we could have had anything like about 3,000 plus people on the road from the start this morning. Among the spectators was former Chief of Defense Staff, retired Brigadier General Carl Alfonso. Still looking fit in his 70s, he shared with C News that as an 18-year-old, he was present at the first Independence Day parade back in 1963. I have been on the I have been on the parade almost every year, except for one or two years when I was abroad on a course. Since I retired in 1999, I continue to come to every single parade that they have. I, I wouldn't miss this for all the tea in China. Um, I love it. I reminisce about the good old days. In fact, I have a son and a grandson in the army, so I have to come and see how they look. And uh, it reminds me, of, it reminds me of how I used to look and how I used to feel. Chanel of Silver Stars was happy to be part of the event. While we're celebrating independence, we came out to play for Playboys for the independence brunch. Each band performed for about 45 minutes. Ian Wason, C News.